From the ambient andronamine found in millions of bathroom medicine cabinets to the sugar substitute sweetening diet sodas and even to the groundbreaking birth control pill, many of America's most common medicines and supplements can be attributed to the GD, Cyril Pharmaceutical Company. Now, over a century since the company's establishment, the considerable family fortune amassed from these scientific breakthroughs has quietly become a significant supporter of conservative causes. The Cyril Freedom Trust, a foundation funded by the company's former chairman, has distributed over $200 million in grants over the past decade, channeling more funds to conservative nonprofits than nearly any other private foundation, according to a CNN analysis. This year, the Cyril Trust is poised to play an even more substantial role as it approaches its closure, following the wishes of its late founder, Daniel C. Cyril, the trust is set to shut down in 2025, planning to allocate most of its remaining funds in 2024. With over $59 million still available for distribution as of the beginning of 2023, its impact on conservative policy groups could be significant, especially during a crucial election year. While several of its primary beneficiaries are think tanks focusing on economic policy and deregulation, others have actively sought to influence legislation on issues ranging from child labor laws to voting regulations and affirmative action policies. Notably, a nonprofit led by former Trump administration officials has received support, indicating the trust's involvement in shaping policy agendas. Political nonprofit researchers highlight the substantial impact of the Cyril Trust, underscoring how wealthy individuals can continue to shape political discourse long after their passing. Despite its influence, the Cyril family has remained relatively discreet compared to other conservative benefactors. Diverging from many conservative foundations, the bulk of the Cyril Trust's funding is directed toward groups actively shaping public policy rather than a mix of policy, cultural, and charitable causes, reflecting its founder's vision for a distinct approach to philanthropy. In the words of Cyril himself, for a while, I had done the standard philanthropy stuff the Alma Mater, the Community Fund, the Art Institute. All of those are nice things, but I wanted to do something different. Indeed, the Cyril Trust has played a pivotal role in advancing conservative policies over the last 25 years, emerging as one of the most significant funders of conservative groups among private foundations. Beyond producing policy white papers, some of the Trust's largest beneficiaries actively advocate for policy change. For instance, the Foundation for Government Accountability has received substantial support, influencing state-level policy decisions such as voting laws and child labor protections. Similarly, the State Policy Network, a recipient of millions in funding, has coordinated efforts nationwide to promote smaller government and challenge COVID-19 restrictions, among other initiatives. The Trust has also supported groups like the American Legislative Exchange Council, known for crafting model legislation adopted in various states and contributing to the conservative political infrastructure. The influence of the Cyril Trust extends to significant Supreme Court decisions, including those on affirmative action and religious exemptions. The Trust's support for legal organizations and think tanks advocating against policies addressing climate change also underscores its impact on broader societal issues. As the Trust approaches its scheduled closure, its mission statement reflects its founders' staunch conservative values, emphasizing private enterprise, individual responsibility, and limited government. The trust's legacy mirrors its founder's commitment to promoting conservative ideals, ensuring its wealth does not support causes contrary to its guiding principles. The Cyril Trust's endowment originates from the GD. Cyril Pharmaceutical Company, which revolutionized medicine with products like Inovid, the world's first oral contraceptive. Despite its groundbreaking contributions to women's health, the Trust's support for conservative causes has sparked criticism, especially regarding its funding of organizations advocating against contraception access and abortion rights. In essence, the story of the Cyril Trust highlights the enduring influence of wealth on political discourse and societal values, showcasing how a family fortune built on scientific innovation can shape conservative policy agendas for generations.